everybody, it's Roxanne Harris here and welcome to Tasty Thursday. Today uh, we're going to make a special little treat, Key Lime uh, Coconut Chia Seed Pudding. And this is uh, something that you can have for a breakfast idea, a snack, uh, post-workout. Uh, but we're going to um, actually use the blender for this one. So I've already pre-blended um, some of the ingredients so that I didn't have to stop and do that. So uh, chia seeds are really helpful uh, to the body, to the digestion, and especially to the elimination system. They are jam-packed full of fiber, which means that it really helps to move um, the bowels and help with effective elimination. And then as well, they're really high in uh, protein and good fats in and of themselves. If you're looking for a little extra help from um, a, a weight management, uh, having some chia seed every day can be very beneficial for that. So welcome and thanks for joining me. So we're making a key lime uh, chia seed pudding. Now this one does have to sit for four to six hours. I like doing it overnight because then you're gonna get the right consistency. So in the blender, um, I put in a whole 400 ml can of full fat coconut milk and one avocado, okay? And I blended that up because we're doing key lime, I wanna be able to have that beautiful um, green color uh, in, in my pudding. So uh, you don't wanna blend up the chia seeds because then it's gonna desiccate them and you're not gonna get the right um, consistency with that. So we'll get, um, again, just the um, one can, 400 mils of full fat coconut milk and one avocado. You can put two avocados if you want a really extra creamy uh, mm. version. Okay, so you can see that we've got a little bit of green color there. And then um, what I'm gonna do is add about a teaspoon of uh, vanilla to um, our recipe. And then as well, get rid of that we're gonna add a tablespoon of maple syrup. So it's maple syrup season um, where I live and in my area, there's a lot of uh, local farmers and even just uh, regular people that are tapping their maple trees on their property to make this beautiful um, sweet treat. So we've got one full can, 400 mils of coconut milk, one avocado for extra creaminess, a teaspoon of vanilla and a tablespoon of maple syrup. And to this, we're actually going to zest a lime. Uh, so we're gonna put all of uh, the lime zest in there. And this is just for that little bit of that extra poke of color. All right, so we're gonna see those little green bits um, throughout. And I love my lime zester. I, uh, this is one I've had for over 20 years now. This is a Pampered Chef one and I really enjoy it. If you don't have a lime zester, you can use uh, the super fine grate on your uh, grater. That would work as well. And once you've got that zested, uh, what I like to do is give it a hard roll on the counter. It releases uh, some of the juices. And then I'm going to give it just a quick little cut there. And one of the easiest ways uh, to juice um, a lemon or a lime, I learned this in Mexico, just put a fork in it and squeeze around the fork. So we've got the, the zest from the full lemon or for the full lime as well as the juice. So hi everyone and thanks for joining me. We are making um, a key lime coconut chia seed pudding that you can use for breakfast or post-workout or even as a snack high in fats, protein, and in fiber. So we've got one full can of coconut milk, full fat. So this would be 400 uh, mils, a teaspoon of vanilla. We've got one avocado that we blended up together in the blender. And to that, we've now added a tablespoon of maple syrup and the zest and the juice from a lime. And I'm also going to add four to six drops of doTERRA lime essential oil for some brilliant pop of flavor. Now the lime essential oil is really good for a uh, sore throat, for um, that kind of irritation. You can put some in your water or your tea, and you can also use it to help uh, flush and detox um, the liver and the kidneys. 
It's really, really good for tingly um, little skin eruptions. You can dab it right on there. Um, and many people don't know that Lyme is actually good for various inflammatory conditions where maybe an elbow or a wrist or a knee is sore. You can rub that right on there. So uh, four to six drops of the Lyme essential oil. And then we're going to do simply a quarter of a cup of chia seed plus two tablespoons because um, we added the full can of coconut milk. Okay. And then all you're going to do is stir it up. You're going to put a lid um, so to completely seal it. And then you're going to put it in the refrigerator, uh, preferably overnight. Uh, I would let it sit for at least four to six hours um, otherwise. And then I'm going to throw in some coconut. So I'm going to do about half a cup of coconut and mix that all in. And this is going to be a fantastic anytime treat. If you're really into fancy things, you can buy um, little chocolate cups and you can uh, fill the cups with the pudding, uh, maybe for Easter this weekend. Uh, and that's it. That is our simple uh, recipe DIY for today. Uh, <laughs> key lime, coconut, uh, chia seed pudding, and I posted the recipe. So enjoy and happy Easter, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Remember to be audacious and to live well on purpose each and every day. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.